Earlier this month, North Korea unveiled a new uranium enrichment facility. November's CSIF Schieffer series talked about why and what this means. Bob Schieffer sat down with Ambassador Sung Kim, the New York Times' David Sanger, CNN's Jill Doherty, and CSIS's Victor Cha, who's here with me now. Dr. Cha, Ambassador Kim made the point that this is not a new issue, but what was surprising about this decision by North Korea? I think the thing that was most surprising about it is that we had a sense that they are much more sophisticated in terms of this new technology, uh, nuclear technology, than any expert uh, inside or outside the government had expected. And what impact could this have on the potential resumption of the six-party talks? Well, I think, again, this is a shocking revelation that will certainly infuse more energy into how to get the six parties back to the negotiation table. But it's unclear at this point whether that will be enough to get the North Koreans to come back to negotiate on things we want them to negotiate on. So how should the U.S. respond to all of this? What's our role here? Well, I think the, the first thing the United States wants to do is to talk to our allies, Japan and South Korea, and I think that's what Ambassador Bosworth is doing in the region now. Um, the next is to really get the Chinese and the Russians to work with us uh, on this problem and get them to acknowledge that this is a severe violation of standing agreements. Um, and if we can get those uh, four on our side, then I think we have a very good uh, negotiating platform from which to engage the North. Thank you very much, Dr. Cha. You can see the entire dialogue of this month's CSIS Schieffer series right here on CSIS.org and on iTunes U.